Erik Axel Karlfeldt was a Swedish poet and Nobel Prize laureate in literature. He was born on July 20, 1864, in Karlbo, Sweden, and passed away on April 8, 1931, in Stockholm, Sweden. Karlfeldt was of Swedish nationality and is considered one of the most significant Swedish poets of the early 20th century. He played a crucial role in revitalizing traditional Swedish poetry and combining it with modern themes and techniques. His magnum opus is the collection of poetry titled Flora och Bologna, Flora and Bologna, published in 1918. The collection is renowned for its exploration of nature, folklore, and Swedish history. Karlfeldt's poetry often embraced a lyrical and musical quality, capturing the beauty of the Swedish landscape and delving into themes of love, spirituality, and the connection between humans and the natural world. John Galsworthy was an English novelist and playwright who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1932. He was born on August 14, 1867, in Kingston-upon-Thames, England, and passed away on January 31, 1933, in London, England. Galsworthy was of British nationality and is best known for his literary works that explored social issues and the moral dilemmas faced by individuals in the early 20th century. His magnum opus is the novel sequence known as The Foresight Saga, which was published between 1906 and 1921. The saga consists of three novels and two interludes and follows the lives of the Foresight family, a wealthy and influential English family, over several generations. The Foresight Saga is renowned for its intricate character development, social commentary, and exploration of themes such as love, marriage, class, and personal freedom. Ivan Bunin was a Russian writer and the first Russian Nobel laureate in literature. He was born on October 22, 1870, in Voronezh, Russia, and passed away on November 8, 1953, in Paris, France. Bunin was of Russian nationality and is considered one of the foremost Russian writers of the 20th century. He is known for his exquisite prose, lyrical style, and vivid depiction of human emotions and the Russian countryside. His magnum opus is the collection of short stories titled Dark Avenues, also known as Dark Alleys or Cursed Days, published in 1946. This collection delves into themes of love, passion, loss, and the human condition. It is regarded as a masterful representation of Bunin's literary talent and his ability to capture the nuances of human experience. Luigi Pirandello was an Italian playwright, novelist, and short story writer who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1934. He was born on June 28, 1867, in Agrigento, Sicily, Italy, and passed away on December 10, 1936, in Rome, Italy. Pirandello was of Italian nationality and is considered one of the most influential figures in 20th century theater. His works explored themes of identity, reality, and the complexities of the human psyche. His magnum opus is the play Six Characters in Search of an Author, Se Personaggi in Circa di Autor, published in 1921. This play is renowned for its innovative structure and concept, blurring the lines between reality and fiction. It tells the story of six characters who interrupt a rehearsal and demand that their own unfinished story be enacted on stage, challenging the boundaries of art and life. Eugene O'Neill was an American playwright and Nobel laureate in literature. He was born on October 16, 1888, in New York City, United States, and passed away on November 27, 1953, in Boston, Massachusetts, United States. O'Neill was of American nationality and is widely regarded as one of the greatest playwrights in American theater history. His works revolutionized American drama with their intense psychological depth, innovative storytelling techniques, and exploration of complex human emotions. His magnum opus is the play Long Day's Journey Into Night, completed in 1941 but not published or performed until after his death. This semi-autobiographical play delves into the struggles and conflicts within the Tyrone family, reflecting O'Neill's own experiences and his family's history. Roger Martin Dugard was a French writer. He was born on March 23, 1881, in Neuilly-sur-Seine, France, and passed away on August 22, 1958, in Belém, France. 
Martin Dugard was of French nationality and is known for his extensive body of work, which includes novels, plays, and essays. His magnum opus is the novel cycle Les Thibault, which he worked on from 1922 to 1940. This seven-volume work chronicles the lives of two brothers, Antoine and Jacques Thibault, and their experiences in French society from before World War I to the interwar period. Les Thibault is celebrated for its detailed characterization, insightful social commentary, and exploration of moral and political themes. In 1937, Martin Dugard was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature for his novel cycle Les Thibault. Pearl S. The Buck was an American writer and Nobel laureate in literature. She was born on June 26, 1892, in Hillsborough, West Virginia, United States, and passed away on March 6, 1973, in Danby, Vermont, United States. Pearl S. Buck was of American nationality and is best known for her novel The Good Earth, published in 1931. This novel tells the story of a Chinese peasant farmer named Wang Lun and his struggles, aspirations, and the changing fortunes of his family in rural China. The Good Earth brought international acclaim to Buck and became her most famous and influential work. It won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1932. In 1938, Buck was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature for her rich and epic portrayal of Chinese peasant life and for her biographical masterpieces that shed light on the human condition. Franz Emil Salampa was a Finnish writer and Nobel laureate in literature. He was born on September 16, 1888, in Haminkaro, Finland, and passed away on June 3, 1964, in Helsinki, Finland. Silampa was of Finnish nationality and is known for his depiction of rural life and the struggles of ordinary people in Finland. His magnum opus is the novel Nuarina Nukunut, known in English as The Maid Silja, published in 1931. This novel tells the story of Silja, a young maid, and her experiences and relationships in the Finnish countryside. It explores themes of love, nature, and the complexities of human emotions. The Maid Silja is considered a classic of Finnish literature and brought Silampa international recognition. Johannes Wilhelm Jensen was a Danish author and Nobel laureate in literature. He was born on January 20, 1873, in Farso, Denmark, and passed away on November 25, 1950, in Copenhagen, Denmark. Jensen was of Danish nationality and is best known for his historical and psychological novels. His magnum opus is the six-volume series called Den Lang Reg, known in English as The Long Journey, published between 1908 and 1922. This epic work explores the history of humanity from prehistoric times to the present and delves into themes of evolution, culture, and the human condition. The Long Journey is considered a monumental achievement in Danish literature. In 1944, Jensen was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature for his vivid and imaginative use of historical and mythological elements in his works. Gabriela Mistral, born Lucila Godoy Alcayaga, was a Chilean poet, educator, and diplomat who won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1945. She was born on April 7, 1889, in Vicuña, Chile, and passed away on January 10, 1957, in Hempstead, New York, United States. Mistral was of Chilean nationality and is widely regarded as one of the most important and influential Latin American poets of the 20th century. Her poetry explored themes of love, nature, motherhood, and the struggles of the marginalized. She wrote with great sensitivity and empathy, often giving voice to the experiences and emotions of women and children. Mistral's magnum opus is the collection of poems titled Desolation, published in 1922. This collection reflects her deep introspection, personal grief, and concerns for social justice. Her poems were characterized by their lyrical beauty, emotional depth, and powerful imagery.